We have some breaking news that has just come into our newsroom. There has been a major decision made in the murder kidnapping trial for the man accused of killing Isabel Sellis. Let's go and send things out to News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink, who joins us live from downtown with the very latest on that. Eric, what can you tell us? Monica, Sean, there has been a mistrial declared in Christopher Clements' murder trial. That mistrial coming after two days of deliberations here at Pima Superior Court. The 12-member jury made up of eight men and four women unable to reach a unanimous verdict here. Judge James Monarch just a few minutes ago declaring a mistrial in this case. Now, Clemens is already serving a life sentence for the murder of 13-year-old Maribel Gonzalez. That was back in 2014. This case having to do with six-year-old Isabel Sellis. Again, there has been a mistrial declared in this case after two days of deliberations, the jury unable to reach a unanimous verdict. The judge asking the jury foreman in the courtroom whether more time deliberating would help them reach a verdict. The foreman saying no. So the judge declaring a mistrial there is a, a status conference set for March 27th. Mr. Clements will stay in, P in the Pima County Jail until that time. So back out here live, once again, there has been a mistrial declared in the murder trial of Christopher Clements, accused of killing six-year-old Isabel Sellis. A mistrial declared. We'll have a lot more coming up at 5 o'clock. We're live right now down here at Pima Superior Court. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. Back to you.